What's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? I'm here with the one and only Chuck Bronson. Go subscribe to his channel. That's Chuck Bronson. You guys know Chuck. Anyway, we're here to get some answers. There's a guy in the car there. They're going to be full. They're going to be radioing in, knowing I'm coming. What's going on, Cameron's of mass destruction? Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Pay attention to the mods. Uh, this is this, the, the station. This is District 11. Uh, this is where Capella, uh, 10606, I believe is his badge number, uh, assaulted me. This is where a lot of officers. And uh, I want their name, rank, and star number so I can for you request their body camera footage. I want the white shirt's name, rank, and star number. And I want to know why he let his officer batter me for three minutes, for a block and a half. He said, go over there. He pushed me to wherever over there was. I thought it was the island where the other citizens were at. Once I got there, he told me, get off the property. So he pushed me until I got off the property. I got on the public easement. He pushed me into the street. He said, get on the other side of the street. Got on the other side of the street. He got on the other side of the street with me, slapped the camera. Uh, luckily, didn't knock it out of my hand. Then he started pushing me again. I went every single place he told me to go while he's pushing me and throwing me and hitting me going there. And he just picked another spot once we got there. So uh, I, wanna, I want these gentlemen to ID these people in this video because I want to, uh, there's my man, CPD Transparency. I'm going to make you a mod right now. Pay attention to CPD Transparency. Now, I've done this for a lot of other people, right? I, I've called police stations. Uh, I, I've, I've, uh, I've uploaded videos for a lot of other people. It just so happens it's me this time, and I need your guys' help. So when, when we walk back, uh, this officer Capella said, you think you're a big shot because you're your YouTube channel. No, I don't think I'm a big shot because, no, no, not at all. Not at all. I'm nobody. Who I represent is. That's the people. And uh, he thinks uh, the YouTube thing is just a little thing. Well, the people in here might find out today uh, how big of a thing it is. So uh, pay attention to CPD transparency. I'm not telling anybody to call anywhere. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the First Amendment of... So, if somebody said, make them dance, maybe it would be time to make them dance. Off the hook. But CPD Transparency... Uh, you know what, CPD Transparency? Put it out now. But don't, don't nobody uh, make them dance just yet because I got to talk to them. But they're going to feel the power... Of, of the people and we are not going to be abused by the people we pay a median salary of ninety thousand dollars a year that's right chicago police officers make ninety thousand dollars a year we're not going to be abused by people we pay ninety thousand dollars to 13.4 thousand chicago police officers median salary ninety thousand dollars houston is triple the size land wise and only as a hundred thousand pe less people population wise they have 5.3 thousand officers their median salary is 55,000 guys pay attention because uh this is going to be an interactive thing when it's your time well make them dance please use the other door Do I get in line here? How does this work? Can I approach over here? Uh, I have some pictures. I was assaulted by a gentleman. I want to see if uh, you guys can ID him. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, I just want to know if you can ID the witnesses to the, the gentleman that battered me. He was a Chicago police officer. Now, the other Chicago police officers did not have their name nor their star number on their uniform. Per their own policy and the federal consent decree, need no and your own part department's policy. They all work here. 
They're your co-workers. Surely you can ID them for me. I'll show you them. It's a very good picture. Do you know this gentleman right here? You can't. Uh, can I talk to the desk sergeant? Sarge, can I talk to you? So, Sarge, if if somebody uh, comes to roll call and uh, they don't have their their body camera on, their their name, their rank star number, they don't have that. Who does that fall on? Whose jurisdiction is that? Is that the the sergeants? Yeah. Who who would be the person that'd be responsible to tell them? You're out of dress code. You're not following your own policy and you're not following the federal consent decree. Who would be their direct supervisor in regards to that situation? Is that you? Is that the desk sergeant? It's not you. Can I show you this gentleman? Here. You know him. He always walks around with a backwards hat, fishing hat. Can I hand it to you? Uh, I got assaulted by Officer Capella, Officer Capella 1060. He was the gentleman that Dave Safini had on the Channel 2 News uh, that kicked in people's doors and put AR-15 to little kids uh, uh, and um, families. Said and his uh, I'm sorry. You said his name's Capella. That's not Capella. That's the, the Capella's the man who assaulted me. That's the gentleman who witnessed it. But he doesn't have his name or his star number on there. When did this happen? This happened on Wednesday at Hartgrove when the gentleman had a gun to his head at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock at Hartgrove, uh, Rose, uh, Roosevelt and Central, uh, somebody, they bring somebody in for a psych exam. When he came in, his parents brought him in, he sat down in a chair, took a gun out of his pocket and put it to his head. Okay. That obviously uh, garnered a big police response. I parked my car. I saw a yellow tape ahead of me. Okay. So I walked to the yellow tape. From McDonald's to there. And uh, I heard somebody say, hey, big dog, you can't go that way. I said, uh, isn't that the yellow tape there? And he goes, no. I go, but, and I, all I got out of my mouth was butt, and then the pushing start. And he pushed me, he said, go over there. So I thought, going over there, they're waving. Uh, where the rest of the citizens were at, because there were citizens all over the mini mall. Uh, once I got there, he pushed me and told me to get off the property. Once I got to the public easement, which is off the property, he again pushed me into the street and told me to cross the street. Once he pushed me all the way across the street, he got, I, I stood by the curb. He said, get on the curb. I got on the curb. He got on the curb with me and slapped the phone. Luckily, it broke it. It didn't knock it out of my hand. Uh, so now I'm across the street. This is the third place he's told me to be. Then he starts pushing me again. There's a yellow tape a half a block down. He starts pushing me to the yellow tape. But not only pushing me, hitting me, grabbing me, grabbing me up by the scruff of my uh, collar. I, I don't know an officer by that name. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can find it. Uh, find out if we have an officer here. But oh, his name's Joseph Capella. I could sh I could show you. Uh, here, I hold saw on. the picture. Right. No, no, that's not that's not Capella. That's the gentleman that was standing next to him. Okay. That's the gentleman that was standing next to him. That's not Capella. Okay. Um, I I, I want to know that gentleman's name. Let me try to find out if we if we have an officer here, a Capella here. Okay. Okay. Guys, go on my. Uh, what what is it? Uh, I got to go on this camera to find it. So he's saying that I know this officer. This officer I've seen this desk sergeant a couple times. The the gentleman we're looking for. This is not Capella. We're looking for this gentleman right here. He was next to Capella. Must be a regulation uh, trucker's hat he's wearing. And then right there, no name, no star number, no body camera, nothing, nothing. So I don't know how you make a FOIA request with nothing. These guys wave, they're happy to be on camera. I hope they were at the scene that day. Did you put it up? Did you put it up? Hit that like button. CPD transparency, did you put it up? Do not pay attention. My two beagles. 
I'm not telling anybody to call the 11th district. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, don't. But one of the liberties in the First Amendment, redress your government, my two beagles. 11th district, uh, Harrison and Kedzie. Google, Google that number. Good. Who cares about Candace Aranza? Oh, I didn't make you a moderator. There, now you're a moderator. So apparently, uh, the head of the FOP, the Fraternal Order of Police, is uh, in in the in the in the live. What's up, John? You want to say hello? Don't be shy, buddy. You're invited on Disorderly Product News anytime you want to come. No, this is not Snelling. Snelling seven. We're in eleven. And for anybody that did not see it, if you look at my videos, it's about two videos ago. It says emotional breakdown is a thumbnail, and it says uh, officer batter citizen in front of whole administration because there was about five white shirts who turned their head, but they saw it all. So, uh, and uh, so what you generally do when you want to make a complaint against a Chicago police officer, you call COPA. You don't come into the station. COPA stands for the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. I didn't call COPA. COPA called me because they got so many complaints. COPA called me. COPA called me. Understand that. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability called me. They started hanging up on people because they're like, you just called here. And the person's like, no, I didn't. They probably got over 50 to 100 phone calls, median salary, and just push and batter us around while we pay you for it. We're not paying you $90,000 a year to beat us up. If you got PTSD from overseas, get on the psychiatrist's couch. Until then, get off, get on desk duty. But anybody who saw me, he hit me and punched me at least 15 to 20 times for a good three minutes straight. Anybody can watch the video. This gentleman wants to act like, they, they know exactly who this guy is. This, this guy always has the same baseball hat on. He's been in two or three of my videos. I'm, I'm just a member of the media and I recognize the guy. They work with him, but they don't recognize him. Do you, do you see it? Where's his body cam? I can't see his body cam. He has a little star down on his left corner. I don't know what that is. There he is, this guy. He was there the whole time. So his body camera footage will surely show everything that happened, along with Capellas. It'll show all the white shirts that were there and allowed it to happen. It'll show everybody. Hit that like button, guys. And I'm not telling you to call the 11th district. I'm definitely not telling you to do that. But if I were to, um, you'll know it. Yeah, that's what that. Yeah, that was a badge on his uh, right side, down low on his vest. Yes. Who can read it there? I don't know. Maybe you could. I can't read it when it's at chest level. They're sewn on. It's black. It's gray on black. They're almost impossible to read unless you look right at it. But where was his name? Where was his body camera? Where was his body camera? And forget about policy. Policy is tucking in your shirt. The federal consent decree is a law abiding contract. It's the law. You have to have your body camera on anytime you engage with the public. If you left the roll call without a body camera on, then who's responsible for that? What white shirt let that happen? And here's the funny thing. When I come to scenes, I'm always dead quiet. I never talk. I never want to get involved. The, the police have a job to do. It's not my position to talk. My job is to record them. That's it. I never say a word. Now, when I come into the station at the information desk, yes, I talk. But I never talk at a scene. If he would have explained it to me, we would, if you watch a video, I'm confused. 
and all of a sudden he's, I'm get hit and thrown around. And the yellow tape is 50 yards in front of me and there's still citizens closer than that. But I'm the only one getting pushed around. And then he said, you think you're bad because you've got a YouTube channel. Yeah. So he knew who I was and he doesn't like my videos. But that doesn't give him the right to batter me and have me pay for it. What's up, Joe? Make Joe a moderator. <sighs> the phone's ringing. Well, the phone's ringing over here. I wonder who could be calling. Make them dance, guys. Make them dance just a little bit. I'm not saying to call. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you have the right to, to the First Amendment, to make those phones dance. Do what you got to do. He's gone an awful long time. He must be conferring with the uh, lieutenant on duty. Oh, the phone's ringing again. The phone's ringing again. I have a funny feeling those phones are going to be ringing all night long. Understand this, we will not be battered. We will, you're not, we're not going to pay you to beat us up. YouTube didn't make me famous. Putting, uh, put, uh, putting, putting tyrants underneath a red light, a real hot red light, putting tyrants in front of my camera is what made me famous. I'm back here. Who, let's see, who, uh, who, uh, who, uh, okay. Ricky Soto, thank you so much. Way to represent the shot. I appreciate all. Shout out from Gurney, my man. Jean-Claude Van Damme, you got Jean-Claude mad. When you get Jean-Claude mad, listen, I can't even control him. Jean-Claude, thank you for the $20. They've abandoned their post. They're down to one. They're down to one, and he's on the phone. And he's going to be on the phone all night long. We got we got Chuck Bronson here. I don't want to get the civilians on the camera. It's not, they didn't do nothing. We got Chuck here. And... Uh, we got one man left. It started with about seven of them waving at the camera. And uh, they realized it's not a joke. Now nobody's here. Right, Chuck? Weren't they laughing and waving at the camera? They disappeared real quick once I started talking. It's funny when you know the law and you, uh, and you know what's going on, how they run away. The First Amendment grants you five liberties, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, right to redress your government you have the right to call your government if you have a complaint uh the police are part of the executive branch of the government call them and complain if you want i'm not telling you to do that but if you wanted to do it you might do it so anyone just coming in we're in the 11th district this is a district of the gentleman who battered me wednesday who pushed me, pulled me, hit me for a good three minutes straight. Officer Capella, I believe his badge number is 1060. I'd have to look it up. I can't look it up right now, but I'll get that to you. <clears throat> I believe it's, 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 it's something like 10606. And all he had to do was simply tell me, explain to me what was going on. I'm walking to the yellow tape. Yellow tape denotes the, part, the, the point you can't go past. Why would I not think I can go there? I was 50 yards away from that point. Yeah. Uh, so I, I tried to figure out who Officer Capella was. Uh, he doesn't work here. I, I've been told that we have an Officer Capella who works as part of one of the community safety teams. Okay, so, so I, I, I so, really don't know. Okay, his name's Joseph Capella. His badge number is 1060. 1060? Yeah, uh, no, 10606. He's got five in there. And uh, he was a gentleman, uh, Capella, no, his first name's Joseph. 
But I mean, the badge number is going to get you to it. Okay. okay. And you want to file a complaint? No, no, I filed a complaint already. I oh. want, I want this gentleman's. I want to find out this gentleman was not wearing any. He he, he was not wearing any kind of uh, anything denoting who he was. Did you make that part of your complaint? And he was a witness. He was, he was a witness, and he would have a body camera. If you look here, he doesn't have a name tag, a badge, a body camera, anything. Okay. So I want to know how he left the 11th district that day on Wednesday. Did you Did you make that part of your complaint? You with Copa? No, I mean I I haven't had the I didn't, haven't done the affidavit yet. But they're not going to know who he is. You guys work with him every day. I recognize him. I, I've seen him twice, and I recognize him. He always has that backwards hat on. You don't recognize that guy? No, I don't. Okay, like so if he left, I'm on, I'm on midnight. So okay, I understand. I understand. I understand. I saw you last time with uh, 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 Sergeant Robinson. So I know you do work this shift. Uh, he works. He was there at five o'clock. So is that the three to eleven shift? Five a.m. or five? No, five p.m. Five p.m. Was that would be third watch. Okay, so what time does that shift go from three to eleven? Basically, yeah. Okay, so and that's not your shift. No. So if I wanted to find out who this officer was, how would I go about doing that? Because Cope is definitely not going to be able to find out who he is. Copa probably could. They have they have pictures of all the officers. They could probably go through and find out who he is. Yeah. All right. So um. So you're telling me you don't have an officer Capella at one zero six zero. You know what? Hold on one second. Let me. I I, I ain't 